thank you for joining us. We are live on the floor at Condo Conference 2025. I'm your buddy Mike, and of course, we are here representing Condo Business, part of the Remy Network. Please subscribe and tell a friend. And uh, if you are in the real estate management industry and you're already not subscribed, you really should. Uh, our guests are amazing. A wide array of experts from almost every aspect of the industry arrive at this desk, whether it's here in the studio or remotely. So please subscribe and tell a friend and even have a look back at some of the previous content. You might find some or all of it very useful. Today's no exception uh, and we'll find more great guests on the floor just like this. Peter Calcetas joins us from Best Consultants. I've got it. Martin Gerskup Architect, Inc. You got it, Mike. <laughs> Take six. We did it. Uh, thank you so much, Peter, for joining us. My pleasure. You and I had a little chat right before we got going here about what you guys do, and I really did love the analogy. I think uh, engineering is often viewed as um, the whole issue from the beginning all the way out through construction. You know, it involves the building science and the envelope and all of the planning and all of that. Right. And that's, of course, very important and something that I think that you guys do very well. But if you don't mind, you created an analogy about existing buildings, which is a, a large market out there. The restoration in this city alone right. is at an all-time high. And so now you've got symptoms in these buildings that you know people are trying to patch up but you guys have a different perspective on this. How does engineering fit into this? Well, you know, um, when we uh, when we deal with our clients or prospective clients, and then they come up with a solution without really knowing the issue. So it's much like saying, if I flip the script, I have a pain in my side, and then the solution is, okay, doc, grab your knife and fork and just carve into me and fix it. And then I say, well, hold on a second. Wouldn't you like a blood test first? Wouldn't you like an x-ray? <laughs> Something maybe, maybe it's the solution is not as invasive and that's where we help. So, so we're really a merger of, like you were saying, BEST, which is building engineering science and technology and an architecture firm, which is Martin Griscop Architect. So we take that together and look at the full spectrum of the building and its surrounding infrastructure and just look at it as a series of different systems that are meant to work well together so they're integrated well together and when you start having problems is those systems are starting not to work well together and how can we correct it and really target precisely what is wrong and how we can fix it so, and work back from that yes. as efficiently and i would imagine for long-term gain and benefit as well absolutely absolutely this is a look i'm an investor too so i have uh, property and it is an investment along with it being my home and I'd like to get the maximum out of that investment so we put ourselves in the same position of our clients and how can we get the maximum benefit for them with the minimal cost so that is really uh, that's about the best case scenario because uh, once I once again I, I go back to the restoration and refitting of, of buildings as a, a fairly large market right now, and especially at a time where values are not that high, uh, condo fees are starting to go up based on reserves draining on these buildings that are getting older. That's right. Really, the most important thing that you can do is plan properly from the onset, from where these problems begin. So to get skeletal about it, as you pointed out, yeah, let's yeah. do a little bit of, of uh, research and dig deeper. What are some of the solutions that you find on a regular basis or some of the problems that you're faced with where engineering and just thinking it through from an architectural standpoint makes a difference? Uh, I think the biggest difference anybody could make is to be proactive. So what I can say is that um, in, in the condo market, specifically in Ontario, uh, reserve fund studies are a must, they're an obligation. And I would say that uh, when you look at your reserve fund, you really have to uh, be very uh, clinical about what needs to be done and then follow it. Because uh, when you think about how reserve funds are uh, invested, you're only making about 1%. Right. But when you think about what's happening with inflation, um, and don't take my word for it, folks. Uh, check um, StatsCan. Yeah. You know the Canadian government gives a lot of value for free, 
statistics is one of that value. So look at what the construction inflation is, and you're gonna see it's double digit. Right. So by delaying a decision, you're actually gonna spend more money. So there's a tremendous wow. cost yeah. to save money. It yeah. seems like an oxymoron, and it's really even more philosophical about our own lives. The sooner you do something, the better the benefit. So I had a, I had a client, and they were looking at you know, a $2 million renovation. And we personalize it. We just say, oh, $2 million, that's a lot of money. Yeah, if it's one person, but you're dividing it among all your other shareholders, right. basically, all your other unit holders. And you have to realize that if you delay, let's say it's 15% inflation for construction, if you delay it for five years, it's double because it's compounding. And, and, and of course, the rate of inflation on construction is one of the highest rates of inflation that we have in any industry. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Lumber, from, from lumber to fittings to all of these elements that have, especially now, gone up. You're better to deal with it now than assume in the future it's going to be more cost efficient. Yeah, you when can, really you're going to be in deeper. It, it, that, that happened to me uh, in uh, with a commercial client. So this is uh, not condo, but it's an investing. So these folks in private equity, they invest for a living. And so then they didn't get the number they wanted and they said, we're going to wait six months and reprice it. And I said, don't do it. It's only going to get more expensive. Right. And then they were kind of miffed and say, Peter, look, we do this for a living. You're just an engineer. We're finance people, we do this for a living. And I go, okay. Six months later, guess what? It's 12% more expensive. Right. I said, now what? And they, they now can't perform the work. So I said, look, we're ultimately helpers at Best Consultants. So help us help you. And we said, look, we're gonna have to redesign it, but let's Let's prioritize things. So one of my mentors said, you fix the roof before you fix the fence. Okay. Seems obvious, but we forget it. So we took that wisdom and said, okay, what is it that you actually need and what is it nice to have? And we built a new design based on their needs and we fit it within their budget. And I think that's where we can help. It's amazing, the temptation as a human to say, no, 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 I need my building to look nice. I, I, I get it, the, the, the roof, but I, I need it to look nice. Okay, okay, but help us. You know? Right, so let's don't... prioritize what can actually be done that's going to protect the envelope, the contents they're in, the machine, that's the right. machinery that runs it. So, um, so, so case in point, it's like uh, they want the building not only to perform, but to look nice. Right. So, but nice is subjective. So they were thinking, oh, we want a new marble facade. I go, imported from Italy. Oh, right. Here, help me help you. So then we actually redesigned the building. It's not marble, but it's a very pleasing look, very durable. And we hit their number. We hit their number. A reasonable, not the number they wanted, but we hit their number that they can afford for the value that they have. And then fast forward when it's done, that building is worth more. I was going to say the value of the building, especially at the, the rates that we've seen it through this uh, building, lack of building and yeah. huge uh, in increase in real estate, there's almost no losing. I mean, even with the adjustments going on, yeah. if you've made the right building, you've made the right investment and you've done it according to plan, you should have a profitable scenario by the time you're done. Right. As long as you have a feeling that you can, you have a commitment to being invested in that unit, that building for the medium to long term. If you're gonna flip it, hey, it's more of a gamble. But if you know you're gonna keep it for it a decent amount of time, it's very, very unusual to really be underwater on it. So, no, that's, that's right. that don't, makes sense, yeah. Don't, don't crystallize the loss. Right. That's really what it is. So amortize yeah. it in your mind, in your soul, sure. and on your books. Sure. Like and when property values took off, and then now they're dropping right now in 2025. Um, don't sell. If if you can afford to keep it, don't sell it. But if you can uh, keep it, you're going to realize the benefit. So so really, the universe. What is your investment? What is the purpose yeah. long term with it? 
and and if it's not long term, you need to adjust accordingly. Yeah. Engineering and architecture is kind of the beginning point for that. Right. right. I know you got it right. I mean, if you want to flip something, maybe you should be in equities. Right. If you're going to build something properly, yes. Begin with the with the best practice you oh, can. You. See what I did there? Look, uh, Peter, I feel like we could go on, but I would love to have you back if you don't mind. I'd love to be back and uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, I think we could get into the weeds on some other topics. Sure. So uh, let's do that again in the future. Meanwhile, where can people find more about you? Uh, you can find us online at bestconsultants.ca where uh, we've been committed to Toronto and the Greater Golden Horseshoe for nearly 35 years. Uh, together, we have over a century of accumulated experience architecture, building science, engineering, and more. So uh, feel free to look us up. You can reach me, uh, you can even look me up on LinkedIn. So it's Peter Calcetis on LinkedIn. Representing, by yes. the looks of things, only 2% of that uh, 100 years of experience. <laughs> Peter, thank you so much for your time you. today. Thank Enjoy you. the show. Thank you. We have to call it daycare for it to be legal. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and uh, please, if you're at the show, stop in and say hello to the folks at the Remy booth. Grab your uh, copy of Condo Business and say hello to us at the podcast booth. Meanwhile, subscribe, tell a friend, and we'll see you next time.